Because then you're not this part. Mm. I will say, though, and that's another thing. It gives your mouth a workout. Welcome to Snack Talk, the show that answers every snack-related question you can imagine. You know, I love road trips. I like making playlists. I like doing that thing with my hand in the, in the wind, you know? It makes me feel kind of like a bird. But most of all, I like eating snacks. But you know one question I've never been able to answer? Which of the road trip snacks are the best? And who better than today's guest to help us answer this question? He's traveled the roads of the world in the band In Sync. Most recently, he's been a host of numerous television shows, and he's best friends with Lance Bass. I'm so jealous. Please welcome Joey Fatone. Oh, no. I like the squeak. What's going on? Thanks, dude. We, we try and make the real, like, authentic uh, you know Brooklyn what? experience. Exactly. Well, hey, that made me feel like being, you know, in a bodega or something like that, you know? That's right. See, this guy knows his stuff already. I know his stuff. Perfect. Please, Joey, welcome. I also, uh, you know, since I heard that we're going to be probably eating some snacks today, but I want to give you a gift. Ooh. Since I'm going to get snacks as a gift, <laughs> I want to give you a Fat Ones t shirt. Oh, my goodness. That's your restaurant in Orlando. That's right, sir. Fat Ones in Orlando right now. Hopefully, we're going to open up some more, but there's. Uh, one store in Orlando, Florida, where we sell our hot dogs and Italian ices. And Italian and ices. Online. Yep. Online. Home of the fat one. Home of the fat one. Joey, you are here because you are an expert. You've mm -hmm. traveled all over. And today, we are answering the question, what is the best road trip snack? I'm ready. So, give me an example of what your snacking habits were like when you were touring with NSYNC. Oh, they were horrible. Yeah? Um, a lot of chips, a lot of dips. Lance actually was on, we shared a bus together. His snack was peanut butter and jelly, but then you had a mashed of bananas. But you had a mashed of bananas and he did it in a cup and he would mash the bananas completely with the jelly and the peanut butter to its all one consistency and then he would put it on bread. Whoa. That was his snack. We weren't really healthy, I think just because of the fact that we were always dancing around anyway. Yeah. So we were able to lose the weight. Yeah. As you can see, I haven't been dancing lately. So I, I stayed up all night to devise a rubric. Okay. Which I have named in your honor. Oh, thank you. Behold. The Fatone test. Gotcha. For analyzing road trip snacks. Okay. All right. I like this. So here we go. F, F is, is for, for freshness. Freshness. Nella wafers are actually pretty good stale. Really? I will say that. They're softer. Yeah. Huh. Try that one day. Open up the box, leave it open. A is for accessibility. It has to be something that you can get everywhere. Yes. Right? Yes. I All think right. so. And then the T? Come on. Taste. It's right? gotta be good. It's gotta be good. Oh, any guess? O? Uh, Oreos, I don't know. Odor. Odor! Man, you don't want to stinking up the whip. N is for... Neatness. Neatness. Right? That's e. a long one. It is a long it one. It looks like it. It is. Easy to eat while driving. Right? You really were scrounging for that one, weren't you, on the e? We gotta figure out the best, which means they're gonna be winners and losers. Correct. And uh, for the losers, please, we have a receptacle. Indeed. Thank you, Joey. Now that you've touched it, you mind flipping the lid for us? First up, combos. I'm, I have a, a lot of emotions about this. I too. have good emotions about these. Yeah, no so. shit, right? You want some? Yeah, fire them up. Totally right. <laughs> the only pit, I'm a little pissed off though. There's one that you don't have. Which one? Pizza. Ones. I know, I know. But at right. least look, at least we have both the cracker and the pretzel versions, mm -hmm. right? This and version. how do you just eat them? Do you just shove them out and just chew on them? I'm, I'm a shover. I know some people like to suck them out. No, I don't suck them out, but I do bite them lightly so that it does separate. Hmm. And then you mess around, you get the flavor more with the pizza ones, of course, but with the cheese as well. They break them. Mm. And grab it out of your mouth. The, Good stuff. The thing I love about these, it's got some texture to it. It's got multiple sensations. You know, this is as as close to a savory gobstopper as you get. Yep. You, know? you, have a, you have that crunch, and you got that saltiness. Yeah. And then you also got the cheese, obviously, inside. Yeah. And you don't have to make a sandwich or anything like that. But you like the crackers as opposed to the pretzel? If I were to probably have my dream combo bag, it would be uh, a variety. Could you imagine that? Just call it mystery bag. Oh and my every God, time you open it, you never know which flavor you're going to get. Right. It's a, it's a trail mix of combos. I can't see a negative. I don't, I don't see one either. I mean, neatness is not bad, you just pop them in your mouth. Right? All right, let's save these. Cheese sticks. Yeah. These are not bad, except there's not a whole lot of flavor to them. There's not. They're good. They're they're healthy snack. Do you still, if you were to open oh, this right now, you oh, 100%, 100%. still? 100%. I, I don't know what happened. I had like a moment the other day where I grabbed a stick of cheese and I was like, this is string cheese. I don't have time or I'm too adult to sit here and peel this. 
And I was like, what have I become? I like felt like three more gray hairs pop out, you know? Yep. Do you drive with your hands at 10 and 2? No, sometimes uh, noon and 3. Noon and 3. Ooh, I kind of, ooh, yeah, you, you know? got that top arm. Uh, I understand. It depends. I understand. Or sometimes I just do noon. And then I get in trouble. See, it doesn't. I've done it where I've actually made little pizza. If you, what's really cool is you take, it's a good little snack for you. Mm. You get pizza sauce, mm -hmm. English muffins, mm. toaster, pop it out, sauce, take string cheese, cut a little bit, mm. put it on there, put it in the oven, melt it, done. Pizza. Wow, I'm into it. That's a little snack, but that's just too much work. Yeah, um, but, I mean, maybe we'll have you back for our toaster oven snacks episode. Ah, Dory, he dismisses it. Done. I don't, yeah, I tried it. Oh my God, all right. Here's something I don't even know really what it is. I've had, yeah, exactly what, it, it, corn nuts. Are they corn? Are they nuts? What the hell are they? Uh, apparently they are corn kernels, but they're like toasted to the point of having a nut-like consistency. Taste of real roasted corn kernels. So are they, they were, so they, they are corn kernels? Yeah, terrifying, huh? Yeah, they, they, that's not what, when, when you make popcorn, that's not what they look like. Where I'm come from, come from we call that duck food. <laughs> I, I just can't, man. Like, I don't, there's you. way too many questions. The next person that I'm going to introduce to this equation, and it is a person to me, is beef jerky. Because I really like beef jerky. Yeah, jerky is a staple in, in, in a lot of uh, actually shoots and TV show things that I do. This is why we call it a professional. Yeah. One thing that I really like about beef jerky, you ever uh, like go to a health club or a sauna or something, or you, you sit and in the someone smells like beef jerky? <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> but they they tell you, you know, that, hey, after you've been in the here for so long, drink some water and eat some eat a like salty snack. Right. Because it Should actually be aids in water retention. And I think water retention yep. is something that people don't think about on road trips. I mean, I don't like pulling over, do you? No. Unless I it's don't. to get more snacks. It's true. True, true, true. You just want to get to the destination. You want to get there. I got you. Oh my right. god, dude. That yeah. first puff? God. It's good stuff. Dingy dang. Accessibility, of Ooh, course. Taste, we're going to find out in a second. It's at the front of every gas station. You know that? They, oh, it's they, everywhere, It's yeah. never in the back, no. you know? I will say, though, and that's another thing. It gives your mouth a workout. I'm starting to get full on snacks. I'm not. Sunflower seeds. I like them. I like them. They're messy as hell though. They are, but I, I'll tell you something that I love about these as a road snack. They keep you engaged, you know? You, you have to work to... But can you drive and eat sunflower seeds at the same oh, time? Oh hell, you just can't sit in my back seat because sometimes they'll blow back <laughs> and like... See, now that's, that's the other question. Do you separate and spit or do you take all and chew? Oh, I take it, and I don't eat the whole seed, but I I'm, won't eat the whole seed. But for some stupid reason, when I was younger, I'll put a whole handful of these in there. Yeah. Chew, and then basically just suck the juice, and then spit the whole thing out. Sadly, they're just too messy. That's it. Twinkies. See, it's my heart right here, though. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you put in the refrigerator and they're cold. Oh, oh, oh man. Really? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try it. You try it. Trust me. Go how, for it. How does one even? You just gotta take it and bite it. You right? just take it and bite it. Ooh, you know what part I would like is probably scraping that residue. You go right ahead, cause that's there. what I've done that too. That looks like you would just take your bottom teeth and scrape it. I love the cake, cause it's like a spongy, like a devil food cake kind of sort of. Neatness. Eh, get too messy. No, not really. at all. And easy to drive. Actually, you just pop as soon as you open up the bag, you're good. Right. Yeah, I don't even know why you're making that go to waste. I, yeah, I, I don't disagree with any of it. <laughs> <laughs> I've also been eating snacks all damn day. It happens, it happens. <laughs> Dying. Um, all right, so I mean, if, if you think it's there, I think it's there too, you know? It, it is a classic. Let's address, though, this, this fake news. Remember last year they said there were going to be no more Twinkies? Well, the company, I think they stopped making it as some stupid thing, or maybe was it all a ploy? I think it was a ploy. But I heard, a, I think a Canadian company, did they buy it, I think? Is that what happened? Maybe, something like that. I remember I was hearing something because I was very upset. I started buying them just because I thought it was the end of the world. Honestly, you know what? Like, it's really not that, not bad, that bad for you. It's really not. I'm not going to eat, you know, 80, 80 of them. Yeah, yeah, eight more packs of Twinkies, you well, know? Well, I might. You might? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Joy, what is the record number of Twinkies you've eaten? Oh, I couldn't even tell you. Uh, you've eaten more than one pack at a time? Oh yeah, I've probably eaten a whole box. Holy usually shit, they have dog, a box. really? Oh my god. <laughs> they usually have boxes back, obviously again, this is back in the day. Right. When I was running around jumping and doing stuff. Well, yeah. there, there's a reason you're you, you know? And like, you're the esteemed <laughs> guest on our lowly no, web show. No, but that's why I gotta <laughs> stop doing this. All right, Joey, it's time for us to pick a winner. All right. We've all right. got combos. Yep, I'm gonna have another one of those. We've got Twinkie. Yep, I ate that. We've got beef jerky. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't, you know, if, if we're looking at the, the, the Fatone chart here. Right. 
I would I would cancel that out. This is all right. This uh, yeah, Twinkie, I'm I'm these are on the fence, but these two I love. Yep. Oh, this is this is tough. But we'll say it at the same time then. Okay. See if we might be on the same path. Okay. All right. Yeah. One, two, three. Beef, Beef jerky. jerky. Yes. Yes. Wow. Get rid of those things. See, because it has everything that you kind of want. Beef and jerky. And it's easy. You rip yes. and eat. Yes. It's the absolute best road trip snack, and we've determined it using the Fatone test. It worked! I hope everybody agrees with us. Joey, thank you so much for uh, for being here, for crowning beef thank jerky you. as the number one road trip snack. I love it. Uh, you gave me this t-shirt. Yes, sir. And I'm, I'm dying to wear you it. wear it well. Yes. But in, in exchange for wearing the t-shirt, yes. I'd like you to... Evaluate my dance moves. Evaluate your dance moves. I think so. you're uniquely qualified right. for this, Joey. Right, okay. All right, the shirt's going on. Yeah. It kind of matches with my pants. Yeah, I'm thing. thinking of, I'm thinking of starting a band called, okay. called In Snack. You want to join? Mm, that would probably in suck. All right, so I like, I mean, I'm the kind of guy, so I'll warm up. You like, know, I got to... I gotta go, actually. You don't wanna see beef twerking? No, I'm good, I don't wanna beef see beef twerking. twerking. I'm good though, I appreciate it, you thank you. This is, it. No, this is great, no, really, just just wear the, wear, wear the shirt. Thanks, Joey. You're welcome. Well, my friends, if you wanted to see my dance move, let us know in the comments. Joey didn't wanna see it, and that's fine. Whether or not you agree with our verdict that beef jerky is in fact the best of all road trip snacks, please let us know. If there are any burning questions about snacks, of course we'd like to hear them. Thanks for tuning in to Snack Talk. Thanks for watching Snack Talk. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to win this beautiful tub of cheese balls, all you have to do is guess the correct amount and leave your guess in the comments below. If you win, I'll mail the tub to you personally.